What's up, your host, Fishing in Columbus, and it is a new year. We've already been part of that, so let's go on. For the first month of 2017, I am sporting a brand new cardboard box. Now, I've already shot this video once. I'm stupid. I hit delete instead of upload, but you know what? We get a second chance. So the baits are open inside, so let's get to it. I got called out once by a lady bass. No, no, no problem there, but because I said I'm going to do a three minute video and end up being a six minute video. So we're going to try to make this a short video on a simple unboxing from Mystery Tackle Box. Now, uh, before we get into this though, I owe you guys a drawing for my December LTB versus MTB, which um, I haven't gotten to yet. So I'll get to that. Uh, I'm not doing that particular giveaway this month. I'm going to come up with something different and try to make it different every couple months, not repeating the same thing over and over again. It gets old. But Anyway, to the box. First box of 2017 is packed full of stuff. Bait card. Let's just read, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five baits. Looks like two hard baits, two plastics, and some hooks. We always get some hooks. So let's get into the hard bait first. First, like I said, I already unboxed these, is the Baker's Lure. Here's the package. Baker's Lure. Jerk bait, half ounce, and it didn't really give us a color, which is odd. It just says, uh, oh yeah, it does. Bronze crackleback. Bronze crackleback sounds like an old person. But anyway, there's that nice little jerk bait. Uh, I would like to different split O-ring on there, the oval one versus the round one for jerk baits. I'm not sure why, but the way they move back and forth, my line constantly gets tied in those oval, I'm sorry, the round ones. So that's one thing I can recommend if you're doing a jerk bait that's going radically side to side is to switch out that circle ring for an oval one. You got a lot less chance of getting your line caught in that thing. Doesn't happen often, but once or twice is enough. All right, next bait, that was $9.99. Next is a finesse jig by Stanley. Uh, I looked at this one. This is pretty cool. Let me get the package in real quick so you can see. That's all it is, a yellow thing. And this is a fourth of an ounce in Sun Perch. Cool thing about this is they've already put a plastic trailer on it for us. Something small to match the finesse profile. Pretty bait there. And it's fourth of an ounce. Uh, it's kind of a unique. It, typically most finesse have a brown ball head. This one's got an, a round from this profile round from this profile but yet from this profile it's kind of uh, like someone took a ball and just flattened it but there it is that's a pretty nice little bait uh, trim the weed guard up a little bit and you got your little, like, little, little, little finesse bait all right this one retails for $4.29 next up is a bait that has a scent that anybody can identify with and that's gambler Anybody who owns a single pack of Gambler knows that this is probably one of the strongest smelling scents out there when you open that package up. These are the Flappin' Shads 4-pack. Retails for $2.40. These are gold back. Whew, you don't even have to put your nose in the bag. Pretty cool. Looks like a fluke, but with a paddle tail. And uh, I would probably uh, swim that the same way. Texas rigged. And again, four pack, a lot of scent, not a lot of slime. That's a good thing. All right, so that was the Gambler Flapping Shad. Next up we got the other bait, the bag of plastic. Now this is interesting. Catch Co is the new company name for MTB. So now it's MTB box presented by Catch Co. And I guess now they're going to get into their own line of soft plastics, kind of like a typical well, like a store would, I guess. Gander Mountain, Bass Pro Shops, all of them have their own tail. This is called the Swimming Grub from Catchco for $2.99 for what looks like a six pack. And this smells like rubber. I mean, there's no fish attractant scent or anything. It looks like a U tail, but they're calling this a Swimming Grub. It's got a little face designed in the uh, head there with a little dorsal fin. So that's it. It looks like it's just a uh, transparent with black and blue fleck. 
they don't really give a color on here so I won't give it a color either these will probably be in a future giveaway just so you know I probably won't even use those next up we got last not least last uh, thing on the box this is pretty cool this is from VMC I'm sure a lot of people have used these these are the swinging rugby jigs this is a two pack now this is a rather large rugby jig head this is a three-quarter ounce so that's got some beef to it right there it's gonna be for a quick fall look how long the uh, the shank is right there after the bin so you're gonna be able to put quite of quite a presentation on there um, and this is gonna get it down to the bottom pretty quick so that's a two-pack in brown of three-quarter ounce BMC rugby heads and that's it so let's see all together we got 10 14 29 16 69 and add another three so 19 and another six right around 25 bucks uh, not a bad box at all um, not the most impressive box I've ever gotten from mystery tackle box but you know some months you're the bug some months you're the windshield so let's uh Look forward to the next unboxing and we're going to be doing a tackle tour, all that other good stuff. But thank you very much. Have a good day. Sorry I went over five minutes, Lady Bass. Um, all right, have a good one. Talk to you later. When I, when I, as I always say, when the opportunity presents itself, get out there and fresh more. Have a good one. Bye.